Hi, I'm Billy Mitchell with FedScoop TV. Today I'm here with Stephen Van Rokel, the new Chief Innovation Officer for USAID. How are you doing today, Stephen? Good, thanks, Billy. Great to, great to be here with you. Um, you just talked about how you're taking techno technology to fight Ebola in West Africa, um, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that. But before I get to that, I wanted to first address, uh, talk to you a little bit about your decision to leave the federal CIO spot to take that fight against Ebola. Well, I was, uh, I was ready to leave uh, the White House, as you can imagine. I, I think I lasted about twice as long as my predecessor and was, was really uh, you know, ready to move on to do my, my next thing. And um, the, the, the crazy thing about government is when you're in government, you see how much impact that, that uh, you can have. And when you, when you look at something like Ebola and see that you know, there's people suffering, that this is a health crisis, it's an economic crisis, a national security crisis, you can't help yourself but to say, you know, technology can play a role with that and dive into the fray to, to, to lend a hand. And, and so yeah. it was, you know, much like many people in government, it was called to do it. Yeah, so. I'm sure, I'm sure. You haven't been in your new role too long, um, but in that time, what have you done so far? Uh, well, the key thing for us is really understanding what's happening in West Africa. And our, we have teams on the ground. We actually have a team called the DART, the Disaster Assistance Response Team, who leads the U.S. response. And so it was getting to know the DART, understanding what are the things we know have worked in dealing with crises like this, and then how can technology lend a hand? Where yeah. can technology be implemented to accelerate and amplify their work? To make the the you know make the the way we address the crisis yeah. um, even faster. Yeah, and speaking of technology, got to ask you, what are you guys doing to leverage technology on the ground in West Africa to uh, fight the spread of Ebola? So the the key three the three key areas for us are, are first and foremost looking at the point of care. This is where people are dealing with sick people or testing. Uh, people like that. And so we're, we're doing things like looking at the suits that people wear, the, something we call PPE, the personal protective suits, or looking at rapid diagnostics, the ability to test a blood sample and, and understand does someone have Ebola. All complicated things today where technology uh, can play a role. We're also looking at communications infrastructure. Uh, the, in, the country, uh, in the countries of West Africa, communications infrastructure aren't uh, you know, like you would, you would have in the United States. You have limited coverage. Where you have coverage, it's a lot of 2G coverage. And so even voice communications is difficult. And when you're, you're dealing with a global crisis or a, a regional crisis like this that could become a global crisis, having robust communications are important, um, let alone the way you collect really our third category, which is about data. Yeah. And this is about, you know, getting out there and going from you know, sticky notes and, and clipboards to really using electronic devices to more rapidly transmit data back to people who can make decisions better and faster. Yeah, and you stepped into this new role, it's Chief Innovation Officer, it's a little different from your old one. What does innovation mean in the context of fighting Ebola and will that help spread, or stop the spread rather, more rapidly? Yeah, innovation is really about not just the technology for technology's sake, but bringing the best ideas together, yeah. bringing the best approaches together, looking at how can you be agile and, and apply American ingenuity to problems like this. And so we're not only dealing with, you know, building websites and databases and things like that to track the data, but getting manufacturers together and, and uh, other communications experts and other thinkers in the medical field all come around the table and, and understand using 21st century innovation techniques, how can we actually address this crisis? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Stephen, that's all I have for you. Uh, thanks for chatting with me. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Billy. Great to hear everything. You've been watching FedScoop TV. Thank you.